Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a quick little review of my Supergas and these are my favorite sneakers that I've purchased this year probably within the last three years because <laughs> I don't really buy sneakers like that um, don't mind the dirt they're quite dirty obviously I wear them a lot um, and these are like the really tall platform ones I got them on Nordstrom so I'm just gonna go over basically the comfort of the shoe because obviously they're, seriously obviously they're cute when I first got the shoes I struggled with figuring out how to lace the shoes like this I remember I used to lace my vans like this and my chucks you know if you were an old school skater you would know what I mean with these laces that's like what the trend was when I wore vans which was like probably middle school like sixth grade I think is when I started to wear vans and this is how I laced my shoes it's very nostalgic situation but I don't know how I figured it out so quickly as like a 13 year old but couldn't figure it out as a 23 year old <laughs> um, so I had to YouTube it but anyway this is how they're usually laced I mean at least that's how I see it in a lot of the pictures and a lot of like Superga ads there's like the classic Superga lace but I mean it's not like they made it up or anything also this is a very low top so that's one thing to take note of when considering buying this shoe design wise and the foot is like it's not super narrow but it's also not super wide as you can see it's very similar to more similar to like all-stars chucks converse whatever you want to call them vans i think is a bit wider like the classic vans do come out a bit wider and that's probably because they're skater shoes so you need more like of a base or like a wider platform when skating i guess i don't know but yeah in comparison i would say closer to converse than vans and also the toe is pretty rounded it's not super sharp or anything it's like yeah just like any uh, actually another thing about it converse is a bit more pointy and so the toe is a bit more similar to the to vans as you know like the skinny ones yeah like that like that kind of toe that's pretty much that's all i have to say about the design and it's all white i freaking love white sneakers but i mean could you look at how dirty she is i need to clean her i need to clean her real bad that might be a to-do for the week now for the comfort okay so i have worn this like all day like over eight hours and i survived but the thing is when you take these shoes off you cannot put them back on it's one of those situations where you can power through after like that five hour mark i'd say maybe closer to six hour mark you could power through that and then continue like keep it on for a couple more hours after your six hour mark but if you take them off after wearing them for that long it's gonna hurt like hell to put it back on i can promise you that the sole itself has no like cushioning it's also very similar to vans in that way let me touch it actually let me double check yeah i mean it's pretty firm it does have padding actually now that i think about it it does have decent padding like there's some cushion in there oh maybe that's why i can wear them for eight hours it's definitely more padded than vans and converse oh by the way i wear a size 37 which is a six and a half us size but yeah so oh my god there's so much cat hair in my shoe Ooh. anyway yeah it's super padded actually now that i feel it but it's not like a soft like it's very firm did i say it already <laughs> i feel like i did it's a very firm sole one thing about this shoe is that you can't really well i've tried wearing them with ankle socks like classic like adidas ankle is it adidas i don't remember they're like the low ankle socks you know what i'm talking about the ones that like go to here on your foot yeah those ones don't work with these shoes they will fall off and you will get blisters okay so you have to wear like higher ankle socks or you have to wear like calf socks what i do is wear the hanes calf socks and fold the top in half um that's pretty much the only way i can wear these shoes and to be able to be comfortable in them because i hate having to pull my socks up all the time i have yet to wear them with no-show socks because i don't have a pair of no-show socks but i have a feeling that if i were to wear no-show socks it would not be fun it would just slip off 
and it would just go to the bottom like half of my foot as most sneakers do when I wear no-show socks even with Vans no-show socks are always falling off I don't know what it is maybe I have like no ankle grip is that a thing or like heel grip when put it when wearing socks or no-show socks who knows I don't know the science behind that but my point is make sure you wear higher socks when wearing these shoes because otherwise it's just gonna be hot mess and you're gonna have blisters um, other than that I don't have any blisters when I wear comfortable socks this is actually just like cotton so it's it's not like it's any rubber or leather or plastic rubbing on your heel it's, I've never gotten blisters wearing them that let me point that out first <laughs> the first couple times I wore them I wore them with the shorter socks and I learned my lesson some pressure points and like discomfort I do find are like right here on my pinky toe I do have wide feet so that's probably why but that's the only discomfort area I usually have after wearing them for over six hours I'm kind of like my toes can't breathe they're trying to wiggle and they need to be out of this shoe but again that's after wearing them for a really long time one more thing you should probably point out when buying this style specifically is that when you're walking you're kind of just walking like this rather than like heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a platform and you kind of have to adjust. There's no bend in this shoe at all. Like, no bend. Trying to bend, no bend. It is secure, it's stiff, it ain't moving. So when you're walking, you're really not having like that heel toe situation. I mean, yeah, you are, but it's like blop, 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 you know what I'm saying? But that goes for any platform shoe. It's not really like just Supergas. I should also probably talk about laces. I feel like that's one of the most annoying things about wearing sneakers is having to always retie your laces. Um, but these, I've actually never, ever had to retie them now that I think about it. That's pretty impressive, in my opinion. This shoelace is quite high quality then if you ask me what else oh and i never have to double knot it and they're quite long why are they so long actually it's probably the way i lace them but also it's probably good that they're this length that's also probably why it never goes undone because like i don't know it's pretty secure and it, they look cute when they're long i feel like if they were shorter they wouldn't be as cute you know what i'm saying and of course are they worth it or not are they worth the money let me actually look up how much they cost i'm gonna look up the price as it is in nordstrom because that's what where i bought them okay they're 79.95 are they worth 80 dollars okay to be completely honest with you guys i did not pay 80 dollars i used my mother's nordstrom notes and i basically got them for free if i were to spend $80 on them, would I spend $80 on them? Yes. Uh, these shoes I pretty much worn every weekend and I wear them all day. I'm walking all day in them and I haven't even like made a single, I mean they're dirty but they're not damaged. Like there's nothing wrong with them. They're just dirty because obviously white sneakers. But I feel like this shoe is going to last me over five years and $80 for a shoe that's gonna last that long I think is a pretty solid investment I had my eye on these shoes for a very long time probably about eight months to a year I've been like constantly going on their website constantly looking it was hard for me to commit because I wasn't sure of the comfort but since I had those Nordstrom notes I just bit the bullet and had I known how comfortable they were going to be I would have already bought them by now they're for sure worth it they're super cute and quite comfortable this I could probably wear to Disney World and that's a pretty bold statement to make <laughs> that pretty much wraps up my little review on the Superga platforms I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one bye oh Jinxie give me my shoe Jinxie, seriously. Jinxie. Jinxie.